All right, now we're going to have a look at how to create lighting for our visualization using the Lightworks rendering engine. Let's just have a look at what's involved. To get to our photo rendering settings, we go document, creative imaging, photo rendering settings. I'm always going to show the long way around through the menus just so you know where to find it. If you then want to use keyboard shortcuts or have a toolbar or palette with these as a shortcut, that's fantastic. But just so you always know where to find it is why I show it the long way around. We're going to reduce the size of our window just for the viewing exercise so it's not too high quality, just so we can see what's happening. And just to make sense of what we're talking about with lighting, I'm going to turn off all of my light sources. So I'm not going to have any sun, ambient, camera, or lamps. You see that I've still got uh, lamps here, and these are called window lights. But I'm <coughs> deactivating their use, essentially, at the master switch. And we're going to render this. Again, I've got a keyboard shortcut, or a, sorry, a toolbar shortcut, or a document, creative imaging, photo render projection, and see what it looks like got a background on and we'll have a look at how to create backgrounds a little bit later and adjust them because it's not right at the moment but we see that our model is completely black there's no light whatsoever and that's exactly what we want we want there to be no light when we choose to not have any lights if we do see things without any light we know that our materials aren't working properly and that's a problem now let's have a look at what the standard lights in Archicad are these standard lights are our sun, our ambient, and our camera. I'm just going to turn on sun and ambient, and let's make the ambient 200%. OK. And let's render this. I'll use my shortcut now that I've shown you once. And this is the standard light settings in ArchiCAD, and we can see that this is really horrible. There's no depth, there's no quality of this light, so it's fast, but it's not nice. When we're doing interior shots, interior renders, we need to use lights or lamps that give us quality. Quality and speed in ArchiCAD is hard to come by, but the best way that we can do this is to use our window lights. These big balls that we see are window lights. And these window lights fit to our window shapes or to the openings. But they don't just have to be used that way. We can also edit them creatively. So let's have a look at how to do that in the floor plan. Here I've got my window lamps on a different story below my floor. And I'm I've turned the trace reference on just so we can see the floor. And that's just allowing me to see what's happening. This is a window light. Where do we find this window light? More, Lamps, Lamp Settings, Lightworks, I could be in my Lightworks 17 as well, I'm in 16 at the moment but it doesn't matter, and our Window Light. In our Window Light we can have a colour, generally speaking we want white. If it's not white then we're affecting the colour of our model. If we're trying to make it look like Skylight then we might have a little bit of blue if we're trying to make it look like our sun's light, we might have a little bit of yellow. But again, I recommend that you mostly try to keep it with white. Otherwise, it's changing the colors of your surfaces. Of course, in the afternoon, that's what happens. Or in other times in the day, our spaces that we see are affected by the color of the light. So in the afternoon, that's when everything becomes a little bit more orange. When we place our window light, it needs to be placed to match the opening settings. We can change the size by stretching these pink nodes and we can change the height as well. My doors are 2100 high and so therefore that's what my uh, window light is as well. And the height is important that we relate it to the ground and because my story here is 1500 below that's what I've got it placed as. But apart from placing the lights to represent the windows, I'm going to move these away just for a second. Move it 
10,000. Just as a good reference, I can find it again. If I was to do a render like this, let's see what that looks like. Document, creative imaging, photo render settings. We now need to turn off sun and ambient because they're horrible. We want to turn on our lamps, and therefore the only lamps we're going to read are these ones we've just created. And we're going to photo render and see what happens. So already you see that the quality is much, much better. The light coming in through the windows is great, it's fantastic, but it's leaving the space very dark. ArchiCAD isn't brilliant at bouncing light no matter what we do um, compared to some of the other programs available in the market. So we sort of need a fake light as well. We need to fake that bouncing light. How do we do that? We can do that using our window light. Again, why? Because it's a good tool, it's a good lamp, it's fast, yet it's great at creating shadows. And we can create a light which is like a ceiling light, and it's pointing down, as you can see with this arrow. Similarly, we can create a light that's pointing up, which is showing as the reflection or the bounce of light, and that's going to allow us to illuminate our floor and our ceiling as well. We, make, we want to make sure that the intensity of these aren't too high, Let's just move them back and see how that looks. These are ones obviously that I've prepared earlier. But to change the angle, all we're doing is changing the rotation angle from 0 to 90 or minus 90. All right, let's go back into our 3D view. So you can now see that our space is filled with these other lights as well, pointing up and pointing down. Let's render them and see what it looks like. And so now we've got some lovely lighting on our ceiling. We've got some great lighting on our floor and on our lounges that we've just recently changed the material of. We've still got some great gradients on the ceiling and we've got this fantastic shadow right in the corners of our junction between our ceiling and our wall which is quite real effect and it's a great way of doing a shadow detail. So that's what we need to do with lighting and that didn't take too long, that was quite a quick render. The settings are still very reduced but we can see that we're starting to get it to look quite believable.